for any genre of music, uh, if you know that's the kind of creativity that we're talking about, um, for me it just starts with an idea. Just something that I'm feeling just really inspired about in the moment. You know, if it's hip hop, maybe I just got this, you know, flash of an idea for some fiery lyric and I'm like, well, that that's gotta be a thing. We we should let's go in on it. Let's go let's go for it. Um, you know, in pop punk, just maybe something really feelings that you were just like, Oh wow, that could that could mean something to somebody somewhere. So that needs to be a thing. So anyway, um we basically just get inspired about this, whatever it is, just something that we're in love with at the moment. Um, so we'll take it and we'll just build around it. You know, usually you go for just the structure and the format first because a lot of music is very structured in a good way. Um, so, you know, say we're writing a, uh, a punk or alternative song or a rap song and we'll start with the hook or chorus and we'll be like, oh yeah, this is awesome. Let's make it beautiful and something that it's going to resonate with people. Uh, and then, you know, we build the whole thing, of course. We put, you know, the verses and everything. We try to put a lot of thought into what we're going to say in them. Or if it's EDM, we try to put a lot of content into, you know, just something that will make you dance or whatever it is. Even in even in metal, it's like, you know, you think about what's going to make people move. It's a similar thing. Um, you know, so we take this this idea that we're in love with. We build a whole thing around it. Um, you know, then we sit back, you know, whatever group. And we're just like, all right. Now, what's going to make this unique? What's going to make it ours? And we sit there and we just sprinkle in all kinds of things, you know, um, ad-libs if it's hip-hop, samples and noises if it's EDM, uh, extra, just whatever you really, really wanted to say if you're going to put lyrics in it. And that's that's really my favorite part about it, uh, you know, because lyrics are very important to me as an artist. And, um, you know, just whatever you really wanted to say, not what just sounded good and fit, but you say what's on your mind and then you make it fit. And then you come out with this beautiful, original product. And, um, well, that's really a thing that I have to say about the creative process. If I could say the most important thing about it, it's take whatever you really want, whatever you're really in love with, and you make sure that you convey it. And don't worry about any confines or, you know, predeterminations in your head about what you're trying to make. And just make it. Just make something that you're going to fall in love with. Like, um, one of my favorite speakers, he said, this is Wayne Dyer, he said, don't die with your music in you. So, never wait, get right on it, and just, uh, build something that you're gonna be in love with forever. And that's what I have to say about creativity at the moment. That's what, I, that's what I was saying, we did that. Like ever wish this on my that's you. Worst okay, fair enough. So we already did it before. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm not going crazy though. Oh yeah, okay, no. that's fantastic. Like ever wish <laughs> this on my oh, wow. worst of enemies. enemies. We're really good at making music sound good. <laughs> Hold on. Play both lines like that. You want me to? Because then yeah. I'll, just, I'll, I'll just, instead of soloing everything, I'll just mute the actual track. Yeah. Alright, here's the whole thing. Let me start a little farther back. I never wish this on my worst of enemies to feel so alone in the most crowded of rows. Sound good. That sound good. Sounds like you walk past a church. Yeah, <laughs> it totally that sounds like a hymn, dude. Uh, <laughs> but um, the second one, I need uh, I need John's second track. Okay. Ziana, oh, wait, writing did I already get that? Oh, yeah, I did. I did. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Now we can start recording. Screaming. Yeah. Do y'all want to talk about the creative process? Uh, uh, we do this. I mean, it's a lot of trying <laughs> to take emotions and put it on paper, really. I start with a drum track, and then you know everything else comes after yeah. that. We get here, we smoke weed, and it happens. Sometimes I get frustrated. So the creative process yeah. is the result sometimes of marijuana. Sometimes you get frustrated sometimes. because you write sometimes. parts that you can't do just Without yet. it, sometimes the <laughs> creativity is just not sparked. This when you spark it. the bowl, you spark the creativity. It's it's a okay. It's literally a chemical process. Well, not all the time, but most of the time. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes it just makes it just a little easier. Sometimes, <laughs> most of the time, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> So we're gonna start with. Does everyone remember how how the yeah. parts go? Yeah. Uh, 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 so. Really